Got him. <laughs> See that? What is up guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another very exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Guys, today we are doing something. Colin is here with me now, but Colin and I are doing something that I have only done like once in my life ever. And that is fish for largemouth with live bluegill. So growing up as a kid, I think I did this once with my dad, maybe, maybe not even once. I may not have ever done this, I don't know. But uh, if I did it, I really don't remember it. So right now we're kind of doing the little food chain thing. We are catching bluegill and cichlids on uh, on bread, on Wonder Bread, and then uh, we're going to be using those to target largemouth. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, regardless, we're out fishing, we're out having fun. Let's get this GoPro fired up and let's get to fishing. All right, guys. So what we're doing right now is I don't know if you guys can see it. Right down here, we've got some Wonder Bread, and uh, we're going to be trying to attempt the food chain fishing challenge. Okay, so we're going to be catching bluegill and. Guys, I cannot tell you the last time that I have used live bait in fresh water. Um, probably have done that once in my life, this being time number two. We use live bait all the time offshore, but that's a different, it's a different ball game. We're gonna be trying to uh, catch some bluegills. We're gonna be trying to catch some uh, big bass on those bluegills. There you go. Oh. Perfect. Perfect. There we go, baby. First one. I actually turned my GoPro off as Colin set the hook on that one, but that is exactly what we're looking for. First fish of the day for me is a beautiful lion cichlid. Not what we are after. Probably a little big. Yeah, a little bit too big. First fish of the day, the old cichlid. <laughs> Peace. All right, well, it's Colin's turn now. Hopefully he can catch a couple more bluegill because uh, I... Seriously, I'm not good at catching bluegill. Look at this hook. It literally just broke like the tip of it. That's, and we just caught a bluegill and a cichlid on it. That's the only thing this hook has ever caught. One bluegill and one cichlid. That's insane. BMC, by the way, for those that, uh, those are gonna be wondering. <laughs> this is tough, guys. I'm actually struggling to catch bluegill on bread. Got one. Right, you got a cichlid. Oh, Bro. He's good size, though. He's good size? Yeah, he's not, see, he's not too big, so if you see... A big Bertha. Big Bertha. Yeah. Look, that's two cichlids for me. Colin's got two bluegills. I got two cichlids. I'll eventually catch a bluegill. All right, guys, so Colin has caught, I think, about 11 already. Uh, I've caught this many bluegills, but this many cichlids, okay? I'm a cichlid magnet. I don't, I don't know what it is, but everywhere I go, I find them, and they love me, which uh, they're really fun to catch. They're a invasive species from South America, so... Super fun to catch, but we're, we're not after them because uh, they kind of get, they get bigger uh, faster. Unless you want to catch Bertha. Bertha loves Bertha will cichlids. eat cichlids. Bertha will eat cichlids. But we can't count on that because you can never count on Bertha eating. Bertha, she, she's in, you know, she, she has her moods. Every now and then she wants to, to do her thing and whatnot. But. Watch, Colin's going to catch one right here. That's a cichlid. That, there you go. I was just saying that. That's a cichlid. Let me show you guys how pretty these fish are. These fish are invasive. Oh, there he goes. There he went. Came off the hook and went back. He was too big anyways. Get out my face. I just had a bug go up my nose. I just like snort. God, sorry, you didn't see that. I just literally had a bug like, I just bumped a line of bug. Oh God. Oh, that's bad. Oh. I'm pretty sure I'll just heard him come out. Anyways, that, uh, that cichlid was too big. Uh, so obviously we're not gonna use that. Anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down and, and try to catch a bluegill. Collins, he's got the team on his back over here catching all the bluegills. So we're gonna see if we can catch one. Let's, let's give it a shot. Got him. <laughs> here, I'll get him. Look at this. I'm over here trying to catch a tilapia, and I pull up a cichlid, and I had a tilapia take the bait, like I or take the bread. I, I just don't understand it. We're over here getting sidetracked. It's like having too much fun catching these little fish. We, we actually forgot about the, the actual mission of coming out here to use the small fish to catch big fish. So. Guys, I can't tell you how much fun this is. This is like, the fish are this small, but they're so fun. Oh, Colin's got a good one. Spotted tilapia. Dude, that's a good one. Barely hooked. I'm just gonna Barely shake him. Barely hooked. We're gonna shake him off. 
There he goes. There we go, baby. Look at that. I got the best looking bluegill so far. Let's go. I'm a just call me the bluegill champion, all right? That's a good looking gill right here, guys. Oh man. I haven't done this, Colin. Like sat around and caught bluegills. <gasps> Matter of fact, since the last time me and you and your and your dad went. I like catching bluegills. It's fun. It's fun. It take it takes you back to your roots of growing up fishing. I don't know if you started in saltwater or freshwater, but fresh. Fresh? I started catching oh my god, look close. Look at the cichlids, yeah. I started catching old tapalias. Old tapalias. Oh dude, that's a spotted tilapia. You wanna catch one? We could try. Cast right right on them. Out of all of them spotted tilapia sitting right there, I catch a freaking cichlid. I'm telling you guys, I'm a cichlid magnet. That is about 20 fish that we've caught so far, though. We got to cut him. That's not going to make the... Uh... Sorry, guys. Well, whatever. They're cichlids. They're... They're here in the millions, so we're not hurting that one fish. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> You're trying to catch birds by you. Yeah. That's a birth of bluegill right there. That's that's what you catch a 10-pounder on right there. I think we'll get rid of Mr. Cichlid and keep this. Yeah, hey, let's do that, yeah. If we see a big one. Look at how dark. Oh, man, that's such a good-looking bluegill, dude. That's awesome. But there he goes, back in the water. Peace. I don't need you, Chief. Boom, just like that. What you got? Spotted tilapia. That was quick. <laughs> Another spotted tilapia. You weren't even trying. That's insane. There we go. Spotted tilapia, second species, actually third, but you good. Bop. Got a bucket full. And oh my god, dude, Colin's the the Mac Daddy bluegill catcher. That's perfect size, dude. I'd say like two more of those, and we're probably good. There we go. Last one. Now we're gonna go move to the uh, big bass spot. That's a good one. We got a multitude of sizes, shapes, colors. That's a good one. Look at how like this fish. Such pretty. Much pretty. Oh, he jumped out. <laughs> he actually just jumped out. Oh, we tried it again. We got an airborne fish. All right, let's bust a move, Colin. All right, we're gonna bust a move, guys. We're gonna try to... Uh... I know for a fact they'll get hit over there. Yeah. Bro. All right, spot number one for the, uh, the live bluegill is not not what we uh i guess not what we wanted so we're gonna move to the next spot and we're gonna try it out but fun day so far that was a nice little bluegill slay sesh right there so we just tried spot number one for the uh for the largemouth and nothing wanted to bite colin saw one but he wasn't really interested so we're gonna move to uh the next spot now actually we're faced with uh some crazy conditions today too it just came like about what two hours ago i mean just a huge huge thunder and lightning storm it was 97 degrees today the true feel was 104 and um it's 74 degrees right now i actually had a hoodie on before uh before i started filming so i took it off because i didn't know if we we're gonna be doing a lot of walking but on to the next spot and uh let's just see how it works back here see that mm. I would drop one at the drain, dude. These are the signs that you love to see. How you tighten this? Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't? And it disengages it. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm an idiot. Oh, the... F I'm an idiot. He said, you don't. <laughs> this is actually a lot harder than it looks. This is not like a typical cast and just catch. Is it crazy that I've got more confidence in artificial than I do live bait, guys, uh, for bass fishing? Like I've got more confidence that I could have come out here and, and thrown like a swim bait or something like that and caught a fish 
rather than trying to use the bluegill. Because we've been out here for a hot minute and we've had one blow up and that was it. All right guys, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wrap this video up right here really quick. Uh, solely for the purpose of it's it's dark, we've lost all sunlight and uh, we're, we're done fishing with live bait basically. So now we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna actually just take the GoPro off and we're just gonna fish. Got that tournament I mentioned the other day. We're just gonna fish. The uh, old plop daddy at him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna wrap this video up. Unfortunately, we were not able to catch a uh, largemouth on some live bluegill. Uh, you know, it got, it got me thinking, guys. Uh, is it weird that I have more confidence fishing artificial rather than live bait for largemouth? Is that weird? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Also, guys, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me do this again. I know a lot of people are kind of against live bait fishing. Uh, they, they feel like it's, I guess, cheating or I, I, whatever. I, it doesn't. That's besides the point. They, they feel some type of way about it. And I just proved to you guys that we hit the hot spots at this lake, all right? Two of the, the most productive drain pipes, nothing. Now, could that be due to the storm that came through today and the drastic weather change we had? Yeah, that could be, that could play a factor, and I assume that plays most of the factor. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to wrap this video up. And uh, with all that being said, thank you again for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see me do this again with Colin. Uh, I had a blast even just coming out here and catching bluegills. Like, that was so much fun. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch y'all next time.